Mo Farah collapses at the end of the New York Half Marathon Olympic champion lost consciousness after finishing in second place, but doesn't remember passing out. Father of three fell around the six-mile mark but carried on. He eventually finished second after a sprint finish to the line. But shortly after Farah finished the race, he collapsed. Runner later appeared to blame chilly conditions in New York. Temperatures were just above freezing when the race was held. Farah, 30, won two golds for Britain in the 2012 London Games. His time today was just outside his British record of 60 minutes 59 second. Olympic hero M. O. Farah collapsed today at the end of the New York Half Marathon but said he didn't remember passing out. The father of three, who won two golds at 2012 London Games, fell awkwardly around the six-mile mark but carried on and finished second. At the finish line he temporarily lost consciousness in the chilly conditions and had to be helped into a wheelchair. Interviewed afterwards, Farah said, I feel good. I don't remember passing out, but I think it was just I tried so hard in the race, obviously, taking a fall and then going through. I just tried so hard in the race. It's not a big deal. When I fell, I fell pretty hard. I told myself don't rush but when I saw the gap, the gap was big. Conditions here today were very cold. London won't be as cold as this. It would have been nice to win today, but he Jeffrey Mute is a good athlete. Nothing changes for London I will just keep training. Temperatures had been hovering just above freezing in lower Manhattan when the race was held this morning. Farah is due to return to Kenya on Tuesday for two more weeks of training under the tutelage of his coach, Alberto Salazar, before coming back to Britain ahead of his marathon debut. Farah said his fall took a lot out of him. The last four miles, I was just pretty much seeing stars, everything was kind of blurred to me, the 30-year-old said. Asked if the fall was the difference between him winning and finishing second, Farah replied. It's hard to say. I've not watched the race, but I know, when I went down, I went down quite hard. I did feel like my hip got caught on my hip, my ankle, the whole right hand side. When I went down, there was a massive gap, and it was hard to close that gap again, Farah added. I tried my hardest and gave 110%. That's all you can do. The Somalian-born 30-year-old was strong enough to pass and hold off third-placed Stephen Sambia from Kenya in a sprint to finish behind winner Jeffrey Mute of Kenya in 61 minutes 8 second. Farah's time of 6-1 MINS 8 SCCS was just outside his British record of 60 minutes 59 second. The 13.1-mile race was Farah's first competitive outing since the Great North Run last September but comes just four weeks before the Briton makes his much-anticipated full debut in the London Marathon on April 13. Farah won the 5,000 and 10,000 metres at the London Olympics in 2012 and repeated the Golden Double at the World Championships in Moscow last year. Farah had also won gold and silver at the previous World Championships in Daegu to add to numerous European titles, but still spends months away from his family to train in Kenya. Before the race, Farah said he was due to have a brief reunion with his wife and three daughters in New York. Before flying back to Kenya on Tuesday to complete his preparations for next month's full marathon debut in London. It's really emotional, Farah said of his reunion with wife Tanya, stepdaughter Rihanna and twins Aisha and Amini, who were born shortly after his Olympic triumph. My kids have grown so much in the last few months. In the back of my head I'm thinking they might not recognize you. When you walk in the room and still recognize you and they come out and give you a hug, it's really emotional. It's what it takes to be a champion. I wish I could just sit in my house and do stuff with them, but I wouldn't have achieved what I have. My kids are lucky to have a nice place and we can buy them nice stuff. I guess it takes sacrifice to be a champion.